Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk about something that is known as Goofus Glass. I have two pieces of it here in front of you. This bowl, which is gold, and this cake plate, which is silver and red. So Goofus Glass is kind of a weird name and it came about because the people who got it thought they were getting the goofed up glass, essentially. So the whole thing started in the late 1800s and they continued to make it into roughly the 1920s. For the most part, this glass was done as promotional giveaway items. So they were meant to be cheap and plentiful, not cost a lot of money to the people who were doing the giveaways. As a result, they used fairly cheap manufacturing processes, which included the fact that they, they painted each item but they didn't fire it on. So over time, the paint would flake away. And you can kind of see here in this bowl, the center is clear. That's where the paint has flaked, flaked off. And then you also have like this ring around the outer rim of the bowl. Pretty much any place where the glass would touch the surface of say your table, or you grab it here on the sides with your hands, that's where the paint would tend to flake off. So it, it inherited the name Goofus because people thought they were getting the messed up glass. In reality, it was the process itself that was the reason the paint was flaking away. They didn't bake it on, they just painted it. It's uh, also known as cold painting, where you just, I'm, I'm sure you can imagine if you took a piece of glass from your kitchen and you just painted a design on it, eventually that paint would flake away. So this is, pretty much the scenario that we're talking about. But the interesting part about the Goofus glass is that as a result of giving away so much of it, there's a good bit of it around even though most of this glass is about a hundred years old. So you can see here this is a pretty big piece. This would be like a fruit bowl and this cake plate is fairly good size even by our standards. It's probably about 14 inches across and it's got silver paint on the back side in all the little dips in the pattern. Then it's got red on the back in the middle and then silver again to highlight the grapes and the leaves in the design. And you can also see here around this edge where the uh, cake plate touches the table that the paint has flaked away. But interestingly, in the case of both of these pieces, most of the paint is still there. You know, there's other times when you might see something like this in a thrift store and half or more of the paint is gone. And surely that can be attributed to the fact that people used these items, handled them a lot, and just a bunch of the paint came right off. But the fun thing about it is, is that it went out of favor because it had very colorful, arguably too colorful, bordering on garish designs. So people eventually drifted away from it as something they wanted in their home. But today, colorful is not necessarily a bad thing. So it's definitely something that if you wanted to have a piece of glass that's legitimately antique and has a very colorful pattern to it and it's gonna catch people's eye, Goofus glass would be a great choice. On top of that, it tends to be pretty cheap. So you're getting a nice piece of antique glass with a colorful design on it. And most of the time you can find it for anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks, depending on how big the piece is. So if you want something a little bit different in your kitchen or dining room that you can point to as a legitimate antique and show off how colorful and unusual it is, I think this Goofus class would be a good choice for that.